thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. I've received some emails past days. Um, I'll answer them as soon as possible. Add some delay in answering the messages. Uh, so be patient, please. Those I send an email to my email address that I've made for YouTube. What I want to talk about in this video is the following. I often talk about looking at the bigger picture. There are pagans out there using the same phrase. So just in case people are confused, let me tell you what I mean with looking at the bigger picture. I just mean the practical um, side of it. Okay, um, let me give an illustration. Let's see, let's say that, for example, there's a store over here, okay? What do you see here? It's a toy. Let's say this was the only thing you saw. You may think it's an advertisement, okay? But here, that's the bigger picture. It's just a toy in a store that's closed at night. That's the bigger picture. So if you just would have saw only that part of the of, uh, of the frame, it's just a toy, you could think anything of it. But now that you see the bigger picture, you see exactly what's going on. And the reason I say often to look at the bigger picture is because people that worship the devil and are cooperating with the devil, they look at the bigger picture. They just refuse to choose the right side, but they do look at the bigger picture. Well, when it comes to their policies, I'm not saying they're looking at the bigger picture personally for their personal affairs. They don't, because if they did that, they would never worship the devil. But when it comes to their policies, they look at the bigger picture. They evaluate, not evaluate, they research how the human brain operates. They research what is common in a community, what triggers people, what makes people tick, and then they come with a fashion prompt or come out come with a movie. And they use. Okay. Let me go down there. Yeah, that's better. And they use what triggers people in the community to, to make the movie or the fashion prompt um, popular. And while it's popular, they put their bacon symbols and they make commercials. And in those commercials, those actors who are often witches or reversos, they spread the, the counterfeit gospel of Satanism without people being aware of it. So because that brand or that movie has become popular, people are receiving Satan's message without being aware of it. But it's still in their mind, and it, without them being aware of it, they are conforming to it. So they look at the bigger picture. That's why their strategies work. Again, I'm not saying those people look at the bigger picture when it comes to themselves personally, because if they did, they would follow Christ. But they're not doing that. But when it comes to their policies, they look at the bigger picture. That's why their deceptions work. That's why you have those Babylon churches, that's how I call them, that operate in the name of Christ, but the opposite is happening. And most people aren't even aware of it. So hold on, there's some noise. I just have to pause a bit. Walk a bit further. Ah, it's also raining now, but okay. Look, that's why you have those Babylon churches that deceive so many people. And the people that attend those churches, they don't even notice that they're being deceived. Lately, not lately, okay, about, let me say, a week ago, someone sent me a picture of a guy who's in his 40s now, whom I used to associate with because he was a friend of one of my relatives. And that guy is now becoming a pastor in a church. So you may think, whoa, that's an improvement. He used to, hold on, he used to gangbang um, young, young chicks when he was young, having all, all kinds of warmongering parties here and there. 
he used, he had kidney failures, all kinds of health issues also. And now he's healthy, he's married, he has a family, his children growing up, and now he's becoming a pastor. So if you look at that, you think, whoa, that's an improvement, praise the Lord. But hold up. When you look at the picture of the building that he attends as a church, I'm not going too deep into it. I'm not even going to show that, that picture, not only for privacy reasons, but man, if you would look, if you would see that building, he would be shocked. It's, the exterior is filled with pagan and witch symbols. Not just pagan symbols, but just witch symbols. And, you think, and then you think, what? How can this grown man who is approaching his 50s, because in, in, his, in his 40s, 45, he's in his late 40s, how can he not see this? He goes to church every Sunday with his family. He never noticed the exterior of the building. It looked like something doesn't add up here. How is that possible? Because those that serve the devil, they look at the bigger picture when it comes to their policies. Not individually, but for their policies. Now you as a believer, you ought to look at the bigger picture all the time. All the time, not only with certain things. All the time you ought to see the bigger picture. Because if you don't see the bigger picture, you are blinded. I don't talk about physical blindness, even though it will work out that your brains don't notice certain things, which is also part of a uh, kind of a blindness. But anyway, when you are spiritually blinded, you don't notice certain things that you should notice. That's why I always tell you to look at the bigger picture. And I'll keep saying it, because that is what you need. Well, it stop raining now. Probably it will rain again. Okay. I'm going to give one illustration. If, before I continue, if I gave an explanation in a video about a topic and you already get it, and I'm about to give an illustration, you don't have to listen to the illustration if you already know what I'm talking about. You're, okay, you may have other things to do, but for now, I'm going to give an illustration. Let's say you have, you have a Jack, I'm just using a common name of Jack. Jack grew up in um, Britain and he couldn't stand the snobbish attitude of many people in the country, but also in politics, he realized nothing added up. Then you also had that whole Brexit mania that came up also, and a lot of racial sides of people, kind of, uh, the true colors people were, sown, were seen, and let me say like that. A lot of hidden rage against foreigners became obvious, so Jack was thinking, man, I really don't want to be in this country. So, that guy, he had an interest for South Korea, and he wanted to go to South Korea. He wanted to find a South Korean uh, girl to marry and live over there. Some of his friends was he were hearing it and said, well, if you want it, go for it, man. And indeed, he met this Korean girl online. He went to South Korea once they met. So you think it's all, it's all right. And, well, then one day, um, Jack moved to South Korea. He and that girl he was dating married. But you get it already. Two years into the marriage, Jack was arrested for domestic violence and he could face time in jail. What happened over here? By the way, I'm using a mill example now, but it can also be the other way around. Okay, but anyway, what happened over here? Jack was frustrated and he had disappointments. And some of those disappointments, you could say, were justified because people were treating each other a bit crappy in his environment. Which, and, and that behavior was a bit common in his country, so that's true, so he was disappointed. But he didn't look beyond his disappointment. He didn't look for deliverance, he wanted relief. And he also had attitudes that were not right, that he was conditioned into by that same British society he wanted to get, get away from. But he didn't want to unlearn those ways. He didn't want to grow, outgrow the, that social conditioning. He just wanted relief. Anytime anyone pointed out to him, Jack, uh, you talk about how snobbish and how um, backstabbing British folks are, but um, look, you also, and there's someone trying to point it out, he just walked away. He didn't want to take it. 
he was so focused on having a better future in South Korea. But here's the thing, he was blinded from seeing the bigger picture. Because if he would have looked at the bigger picture, he A, would have realized that, well, there are xenophobic tenants, there are xenophobia. It's present in South Korea, not everywhere, but it is there. You would also find out that South Korea also has a lot of darkness that it carries with it, just like every country has. And they also would have realized that, well, fleeing one, moving to another country just because you want to flee one country, it is, you can do it, but it's not wise. In this case, he wasn't a refugee, he wasn't fleeing from war. He just wanted to escape frustration and escape, um, what is it? He wanted to escape frustration and escape disappointment. Escape disappointment. Sorry if I speak too fast. I often have it, I speak too fast and I mess up. He, don't, he wanted to escape disappointment. So, while doing his studies, he moved to South Korea thinking, well, I can, I can work over there without a bachelor's degree. So, he did his thing. After three years in marriage, he had returned to Great Britain. Now, he could continue with his studies. He had to redo some courses. Now, he now had more debt. He has been out of the country for a while. So now he needed to start over. And now he had to, he had to deal with the same people he wanted to be away from. And those people he wanted to be away from, his relatives and some other people, they were toxic indeed. But now he was just relieved from those people for a while. Now he had to deal with them again and get the extra baggage of his past in South Korea. So you get what I'm seeing here? If he would have looked at the bigger picture, he would have, he would have looked for deliverance instead of relief. But a lot of folks, they are relief-centered. They look at the small picture. The only thing that matters to them is a small picture. The bigger picture, if you mention that to them, they think you're crazy or think you're bothering them. They tell you to, you to mind your own business. They get upset with you. So I don't tell people in general out there, look at the bigger picture or, or recommend it onto them. Because most people, they have an attitude against you. They'll turn on you and make you the target. But for you, what's following this channel, I'm telling you, look at the bigger picture. That's what believers ought to do. And that example I gave about Jack, it can be a woman wanting the same, that also happens. So don't get any sexist message out of what I've just said because there is no sexist message in it. Okay? I, I use male examples and female examples. Well, it's still raining, but I need, I need to catch the metro now, so I'll see you soon. I'll answer your message as soon as possible. Be at peace. Shalom.